coach at St. Augustine, served as an assistant at Destrahan and Brother Martin, worked most recently in Grambling, and now he's on, serving as director of player personnel at Tulane. Tulane, of course, had its opening game at Yolman Stadium this past Saturday afternoon. Fell to Georgia Tech 38 to 21. They will host a very potent Southeastern Louisiana squad this coming Saturday night at 7 p.m. Please give a warm quarterback club welcome to Coach Wayne Cordova of Tulane University. Wayne. Good afternoon, guys. I'd like to uh, start by telling Mr. Kentry and thank you for the invitation for allowing me to be able to speak on behalf of the Tulane football program. Uh, as well as the quarterback club, the Orleans quarterback club. Um, little quick story. Uh, this guy, I don't think I even had a chance to meet him personally, but uh, when I received an email about today's uh, luncheon, uh, Mr. 4 k name was on there. And uh, it was, did he know, he was probably one of my favorite uh, Saints football players when I was a kid. And uh, as I got older, I played in uh, an arena football league, and I got a chance to play against him when he was head football coach as well as uh, the starting quarterback, which was a uh, feat. But talking about Tulane football, one of the, the philosophies uh, that CJ has is building a football program, um, building a program class by class. And what he means by that is that each class that we have, each recruiting class, we want to get better in that particular class. And uh, I think from watching our games, uh, past two games on TV, you can see with the number of underclassmen that are playing on the field, that are either playing or starting, um, the last two recruitment classes were successful. And uh, I think on the offensive side of the ball, we're playing about eight uh, freshmen that are actually getting some quality playing time, and uh, probably about the same amount of uh, people, uh, freshmen, on the defensive side. So we're playing a lot of those guys, and I think that that's a, a testament to the high school programs, the local high school programs, and their coaches, because those guys, when they're coming in as freshmen, um, they are prepared. You know, they know what to do. They know about the, the meeting times. They know about the weight lifting, and they are able to come in and, and be able to help us right away. Um, last week we played a, a tough opponent, like uh, Mr. Trahan said, we played Georgia Tech. Uh, when you think of Georgia Tech, the first thing that comes to mind is that option. And that option has, uh, has gave a number of quality defenses fit uh, over the years when Paul Johnson has uh, been at the, at the head coaching position. Uh, but our defense, they prepared throughout the week, uh, prepared assignment football was the, the topic of discussion every day, just making sure that you tackle the dive, the quarterback, and the pitch. And they did that for uh, a number of series throughout the game. And, uh, you know, it, they, they caused three turnovers uh, in the game. They swarmed the ball, and they, uh, when they got there, they tackled the ball violently. Uh, but in, in certain situations, we allowed those guys to score, whether it was uh, a short field or it was a turnover um, for the offense, and they scored. They, they did what they were supposed to do offensively um, to seal the deal. Defensively, we had uh, some, some key players, Nico Marley, uh, you were in the stadium that uh, afternoon. You heard Nico Marley name the entire game. Uh, he flew around uh, the football field uh, violently, and um, he's one of those guys. He's not the biggest guy in the world. He's not the smallest guy in the world. He's not the fastest guy in the world. But what he is, he's a football player, and he comes and plays every day, and uh, we love to have him on our defense. Offensively, uh, Tanner Lee played another good game. Uh, had a couple turnovers uh, that were that, that were kind of costly, but he played a great game. Tanner's a freshman and he's a competitor. And anytime you have a person like that on your team, and especially at the quarterback position, you will always have a chance to win the football game. Um, our running game was led by uh, Dontrell Hilliard from Scotlandville. Dontrell, uh, I think he had about 30 yards rushing and uh, he ran the ball well. But the best thing that uh, Dontrell did in that particular game is something that you don't find too many freshmen being able to do is pass protect. Uh, he, he got in there with a number of defense alignment and a lot of uh, blitzing linebackers and stuck those holes and gave uh, 
Tanner Lee, as well as Devin Powell, some opportunities to pass the ball down the field. So that was very commendable on Dontrell's part. Uh, Xavier Rush, one of our senior receivers, and Justin Shackelford. Those two guys uh, played very well on the, at, at wide receiver position, and uh, they had some of their career game, had a career game uh, themselves. Special teams uh, at Tulane, we've been we've been kind of uh, I would say spoiled with having someone like Cairo Santos. Uh, Cairo is an All-American. Cairo is also a new Rosa Award-winning kicker, and uh, now we have a freshman. And this freshman, he has a great deal of talent, but he's uh, working tirelessly. You know, he's staying after and, and working on his own to get. Uh, those kicks, those kicks that we, at certain times in the game, we're going to need, and we're going to continue to lean on uh, our kicker, Duraco, uh, and Piccarelli. Uh, those guys, like I said, they're working hard. Uh, their coaches are working with them, and uh, we, we're going to depend, continue to depend on those guys in the near future. Uh, SLU, as you know, they have a, a transfer quarterback by the name of Brian Bennett. Uh, Brian Bennett, he's a, a true dual threat quarterback. Um, he can kill you with the with his passing or with his legs. And um, you know, we've been preparing for him. Started last night, looking at film and uh, and starting to break those guys down. And, and they have a pretty good team. There's a lot of team speed. They actually have about eight receivers on their roster, and those guys can really run. And um, you know, we're going to have to really prepare, continue to prepare, and. and find some weaknesses uh, with those guys to be able to stop them. Uh, defensively, a great deal of team speed uh, they have. And, uh, and like I said about our defense, they, when they arrive, they arrive violently. Uh, they're great hitters. And uh, have a lot of local guys on their team as well. And uh, you know, just as far as us, and, and, and a recap of it, I um, think that our young men, I've been there a short period of time, but one of the things that I found with those guys is that they're very resilient and uh, they, they're really focused on the task at hand. And uh, we'll be prepared and uh, look to see you guys out there Saturday. Saturday, any questions? Raise your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any idea why Coach left the board on the floor now, right before the half? I think. I think, and I can't, and I don't want to speak for uh, Coach Johnson, but uh, I think it had something to do with, uh, we knew that they were going to probably rush the punter. We knew that they were going to probably send, send everyone, uh, being that there wasn't that much time left on the clock. So uh, just playing the percentage, and our offense was doing a pretty good job of moving the ball at that time. So we felt really comfortable with, uh, with getting and picking up that first down. Anyone else? Yeah, of course. Just heard you tell me you have a young kicker. He's, he's you know, staying afterwards, trying to hone his talent, and he's getting there. And y'all know this, so it makes me wonder why, like in week one, when you have the field goal to be kicked, why don't you make it easier for him to line it up straight instead of running the play and put the hard angle on Good question. Uh, That's a tough question for Joe and Angela. <laughs> Tough question. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't. I can't answer that. I, I work in player personnel. Yes, sir. I got an easier question for you. I was at, I was at the game Saturday, and I, I spent my time walking around the entire city, finding, trying to find a vendor selling like a cup of ice. Okay. Now, I wasn't offended that the ice wasn't available, but my flask of vodka was. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, have, has there been any feedback from the fans that, that we need to have ice and soft drinks available? Soft drinks were available, but not ice. And it was pretty hot out there, and uh, I know I, I personally would have preferred to have a cup of ice. Is there any way we can get that in the city? After, after this meeting, I'll give you my uh, card, and I'm going to try to find that answer for you, and I'll get that information to you. Very good. A lot of guys went through this. Mr. Brown. You mentioned that there were player personnel. In the recent years, I've seen that a lot of the leaders have. kind of thing you always see on personnel. What is a player personnel? A 
player personnel, what we really do, we, we do a, uh, we help with evaluation of our own players after the game, do some self-scouting, uh, also player retention, uh, doing like a, a player liaison, a liaison between our players, their parents, uh, a liaison between our administration, our teachers, and our players. So uh, that's the, the politically uh, correct way of saying player uh, personnel director. A lot of guys went out to the heat the other day. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I mean, there's a, a number of people. I did get a chance to talk to uh, one of the guys that work in the police department for Tulane, uh, for the university, Tulane University. And uh, he said there was a number of people in the stands as well that were uh, sitting in the shade that went out. So uh, it was hot. It was a hot day. And uh, we kind of anticipated that. And uh, one of the things that our strength coach, as well as our head coach, he stresses is hydrating yourself, not just the day of the game, but three days prior to the game. And uh, hopefully our guys take heed to that and uh, has taken heed to it. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's New Orleans and, and it's pretty hot and humid out there. And uh, I think we just have to do a better job. Anyone else? Thank you.